it sounds something that I've learned the hard way in business is about gut instinct mm. and I talk about this a lot yeah. I think because there's been um, a, probably about three times where I didn't trust my gut instinct and it was dreadful so now Welcome to this week's edition of On The Couch series brought to you by Indigo Living. Each week I get to invite special guests making a difference in the region. Whether small business owners, big business owners, philanthropists, they are doing incredible things. Now this week, of course, I've invited my friends. They are the ones that keep me on the pulse of everything in the beauty and wellness space. Please welcome the founder and MD of Tish Tash, Natasha and Polly. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for having us. So this week, I really want to focus on the idea of being in a niche space. Everyone has small businesses, but how do you keep that business um, on the right path, on the fast track to growing um, and staying in your lane? Let's talk about how you started your business, Natasha. Um, so I started my business eight years ago. Um, I've been in the communication industry for over 20 years now. Yes. I am that old now. <laughs> so I always work globally with uh, you know big agencies, big brands like you have us, L'Oreal. And then obviously I saw like how passionate everyone in the region was about beauty. Um, so after two years working here in the region, um, I decided to set up Tish Tash. Being honest, the first kind of six months, I didn't know that I was gonna specialize in beauty, health and wellness, but that's what we became known for and um, you know, by the end of the year, we had over sort of 12 brands already in that space, and we made the decision to specialize as an agency. And Polly, tell me your role as MD. So I joined Tish Tash four and a half years ago. It feels like yesterday still, but um, four and a half years ago, and I think, you know, Tash will probably tell this story better, but I think being an entrepreneur can be quite lonely, and it just got to a point where she needed some support with bigger clients, and I come from a P&G background. Uh, I worked in Asia before here and then in the UK, so kind of global experience. So I think I kind of started off as a camp director, and within two years was, uh, yeah, managing director. So now you guys are pretty big. From 12, we've gone up to... Just 20? Uh, yeah, 20. just over 20. Yeah, definitely expanding. But I think with that comes challenges, um, you know, managing more people, um, working out how to, as you said, stay in your lane when you become bigger and there are more opportunities out there to diversify. Um, so it's not always easy. Yeah, one of the things that for me in the essence of my business is, you know, it, that personal touch is, I think, one of the reasons why we have been successful because both Polly and I are very, very hands-on with our clients. You know, you won't see us like pitching for a client and then, you know, they'll never see us again. Both of us split the clients. We make sure that they have face time with us. They feel that love and attention. I think that's why we still have many of the same clients that we had eight years ago when we launched as well because they do become part of our family and our friends as well. Um, and I think that, that as you grow, it's very, very challenging to try and keep the culture as well um, in the agency mm. uh, and, and keep all those personal kind of touches, which is as you go even from like 10 to 20 and onwards, that's something that you know we are kind of learning as we go along. You guys are in a position where you can actually pick and choose your clients. What are you looking for when a client comes to you? What is that before you sign that dotted line? So yeah, first of all, we scrutinize, does it fit with what we do? Secondly, for us, it's about people. It's like that chemistry when you meet people, um, you know, you kind of, we know if we want to work with people and everything. And I think you get that feeling quite soon on whether, you know, they're a good fit for us and the way we are. Um, it sounds something that I've learned the hard way in business is about gut instinct. Mm. And I talk about this a lot. Yeah. I think because there's been um, a, probably about three times where I didn't trust my gut instinct and it was dreadful so now yeah. we kind of joke about it but we're always like okay what does our gut tell us in this situation and if our gut says don't work with this client or don't do it everything's screaming generally now we try and listen to that and we don't do it and we find that you know that's actually something that really works well for us yeah. I mean as an agency of course we still need to make money and I think that we get a mixture of big clients coming to us but also a lot of really lovely small businesses that are female owned that are just starting in the region that really just want our support and I think it would be very easy for us at this stage in our business to kind of say no no, no we're only focusing on you know the bigger brands because we've grown so much but you know, I think Tash especially, it's all about, no, we still want to support these brands because we see, we'll try the products, we'll see how great they are, we'll see the potential that they have, and we will support them. So it's not, you know, I think we never want to become just about the money. We want to become about supporting brands that we truly believe in, no matter the size. So at Indigo Living, our motto is 
living beautifully. What is that for you? I think for me, I think, you know, we only get one life. And I think, you know, you've got to try and um, find happiness or find, I don't know, peace within yourself, um, you know, and I, I think being true to yourself as well. I think that kind of, you know, authenticity and sort of living a life that kind of, you know, is kind of true to your values and is true to kind of you. I think that's kind of, to me, is sort of how I always try and, and live my life. Um, and ultimately, you know, I think if you do follow your heart, if you do follow your passion and your values, then I think that's kind of, you know, it usually it sets you on the right path. Since I've joined Tish Tash, I've had two kids. So in the last, so I have an 11 month old and a three year old. And I think for me, living beautifully is loving what you do, but not allowing it to affect your home life, I guess. And kind of figuring out how to bring your family into your work. Honestly, I'm so happy to have you guys on because not only have I seen your business grow, but I truly see how hard you guys work to make a difference. And in, in not only just behind the scenes in, in personal life, but also, you know, you guys are inspiration for all your staff as well. And they see women at the top and women building a business and you guys have really made a difference. And yeah. so congratulations to you guys. Thank you for sharing your yeah. story. I know viewers are going to truly be inspired to to start a small business and follow their passion um and i wish you guys all the best and have a great weekend thank you for joining us